Let's check on stories we're following for you on Robin Hood Radio from the BerksRage.com. A Sheffield company that received a green light this year to begin growing marijuana commercially has had its license suspended because of the alleged criminal activity by one of its partners. The Cannabis Control Commission, which regulates and licenses the cultivation and retail sales of marijuana and related products, suspended the license of BCWC LLC, which does business as Nova Farms. In a news release, the CCC said it suspended all six licenses held by Nova Farms including indoor and outdoor grow licenses at the company's farm in Sheffield, as well as licenses for cultivation, manufacturing, and retail sales at Nova's facility in Atterboro, Massachusetts. The site of the pumping station for Salisbury's sewer plant is going to be moved across the road from where it was originally planned. The change was announced at the Board of Selectmen's meeting this week. First Selectman Curtis Rand said the facility, which is now going through a renovation, would not have enough space on the side of Salmon Kill Road originally selected because there are large bolts in that area. The move will incur added expense to the project, according to Rand, adding it remains to be seen whose fault it was. Selectman Don Malin, chairman of the town's Water Pollution Control Authority, which oversees the plant's operation, said he doesn't think anyone made a mistake. There was just not enough preparation work done on the site. Minor adjustments to Sharon Town ordinance were approved at a sparsely attended town meeting, which was held last Friday. The voting was unanimously in favor of wording changes. Approved was a change in the regulations allowing for posting of the annual proposed budget on the town's website, thereby reducing but not eliminating a requirement for hard copy printing. One building fee was rescinded so that an additional fee of $200 will no longer be charged if an owner or contractor begins work in advance of a receipt of a permit. A proposed change to the regulations governing driveway aprons was approved so that paved driveway aprons will need to have to be a minimum of two inches of asphalt from the highway pavement to the edge of the right-of-way. And a fourth proposed change was withdrawn from consideration concerning changes to regulations governing roads within subdivisions and their acceptance as town roads. Caitlin Little in the Millerton News, the 2019 Town of Northeast Village of Millerton Comprehensive Plan was moving closer to finalization. The Village Board and the Town Board hosted a joint public hearing on Wednesday at 7 p.m., allowing the public to raise any comments or concerns about the plan. A comprehensive plan lays out the framework for municipalities to lean on while planning for their communities for the next 10 to 15 years. An HBO series featuring Winona Ryder and John Turno is in the need of paid extras for filming that will take place in the region later this month, The Plot Against America, marking the third HBO project featuring notable names to film in the region in recent months. American Red Cross has a blood drive at Noble Horizons in the community room 1 until 6 p.m., 1-800-773-2767 to register or redcrossblood.org. Part of a doubleheader, Douglas Talmay presentation, The Guide to Restoring the Little Things that Run the World, 8 8 30 at the Litchfield Community Center, put on by Sharon Audubon. And then on Saturday, Sharon Audubon has their Butterfly Festival. For questions and information, 860-364-0520. Noble Horizons Auxiliary holding its semi-annual book and tag sale, 9 until 2 at Noble Horizons, Cobble Road in Salisbury. Admission is free on both days, but early birds can get in and pay $10 from 8 to 9 a.m. on Friday only. The Chad Marchick Memorial Golf Tournament being held this Saturday at the Undermountain Golf Course. The event is hosted by the Undermountain Golf Course. To see if there's any more room for you to play or join in, you can contact Trish at service at undermountaingolf.com. Salisbury Bank is continuing its initiative to fight against identity theft while building community goodwill. They're sponsoring a free shred event at Food Drive. That is coming up this weekend at the Sharon Branch. It is on Saturday from 9 until noon. In Cornwall on Saturday... 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., the Cornwall Agricultural Fair. And at 5 o'clock, there's an artist reception for Larry Master at the Cornwall Library. The Pine Plains Garden Club sponsoring four seasons of gardening presented by Dutchess County Cornell Cooperative Extension Master Gardener Philomena Kiernan on Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Pine Plains Community Room. Music and More is a unique multi-art series presented in New Marlboro's historic meeting house in the Village Green. Each event is followed by a reception at the Meeting House Gallery. The next event will be coming up on Saturday, September 14th at 4.30, Emmanuel Sison on Harp. $25 and $20 for members 18 and under 
will be free. A reception follows in the Meeting House Art Gallery. Historian Van Atta speaks on New York reform and the westward expansion of slavery, 1819 to 1851, at the Rojan Library on Saturday at 5 p.m. More information, rojanlibrary.org and on Facebook. September 14th, John Strom of the Rojan Historical Society will give a lecture, Boston Corner and the Oblong, How Two-State Boundary Land Exchanges Created Heavens for Lawless. This talk will be followed by refreshments. Oblong Books will have a table selling maps on books on the Oblong. The event will take place from 5 until 7 p.m. And this will be happening at the Millerton Library Annex on Century Boulevard. The Old School Band and Will Brown performing on Saturday night at 7 o'clock at the Millerton United Methodist Church. A mix of folk and rock music, $15 per adult. Children under 12 are free when accompanied by adults. All proceeds go towards the church's restoration effort. It's the annual Community Classic Car Show at Maple Brook School to benefit the Amini Alliance Club for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. That'll be held Sunday from 10 till 2, rain or shine. There'll be post-war, hot rod, contemporary, and motorcycles on display, plus prizes, giveaways, and great food. Fun for the whole family. Coming up this weekend... Wild and Beautiful Creatures, the life and work of J.J. Audubon on Sunday at the Sharon home of Alexandria and Frederick Peters. For more information, Audubon at SharonHist.org. Salisbury Republican Town Committee and its candidates for local office in a salute to Salisbury's finest people, schools, and volunteer organizations I invite you to join them from 1 until 3 o'clock on Sunday for a corn roast at the Grove in Lakeville. No admission in case of rain. They'll be inside at the Grove. You're invited to bring the whole family and join them for an afternoon of corn, ice cream, beverages, music by the Salisbury Band, candidate viewing, and salutes to Salisbury's finest organizations. Hotchkiss Library of Sharon presents Get Organized, a three-part series with professional organizer Jan Baltrush, three Sundays at 4 p.m. The first one will be this Sunday, the 15th, focusing on the basics, how to get and stay organized. On October 6th, learn all about downsizing. On November 17th, let's enjoy the holiday season. All sessions at the library on the green in Sharon. Pre-registration is required. 860-364-5041. The John F. Foley Lone Oak Challenge Annual Golf Tournament will be held on Monday, September 16th at the Egremont Country Club. There is no registration deadline. Organizers recommend registering early. If you want more information, you can contact 860-601-3130. Sharon Hospital Lunch and Learn Wellness Series returns to the Sharon Hospital with the luncheons in the board conference room number two. Back to school injury prevention from noon to 1.30 on Monday the 16th in conference room two. More information is available at 845 Five five four one seven three four or healthquest.org slash wellness. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and Interlake and In.com and by Salisbury Bank, SalisburyBank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 45.41 to 27,182.5 yesterday. The NASDAQ starts off today at 8194.47 and the S&P 500 at 3,009.57. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.